Hello everyone. Welcome. So today in uh, GNU core utility or command series, we are going to learn about commands related to file name manipulations. So let's move forward. So first name is base name. So this strips and suffix from a file. It's used to extract the base name from a given path or a file. So this command basically gives uh, file name from a given path. So sometimes suppose in a script you have, uh, you are, uh, you got a path and you want to know the file name. So you can use this command. So basically the option is, you can see base name and the file name. So suppose I have given this path, so it will uh, it will return this name. Okay, so you can see this file name dot txt. So likewise, you can use this command. So basically, what it does, it does not even only give you the file name, but also at the whatever the end string is after this. Okay, so home password. So it is giving password home password test so it is giving test like this okay so base name will give you whatever the suffix is from the end okay okay so let's move move let's see some other command So the directory name as the name suggests so used to extract the directory component from a given path so base name will give you the uh, suffix uh, that is the, so if you have a complete path uh, with file name so uh, the base name will give you the file name and if you have uh, a path complete path then the uh, uh, this uh, dir name will give you the directory so suppose we have this path okay this path so if you apply so if you apply base name on this path it will return you report or PDF if you are uh, if you will apply DIR name on this path it will return you home up to here okay so see new path equals to this equal new path equal new path new path equals to this okay so DIR full path so if you can see dir name this is the full path and it is giving me up to here okay this one so with with the combination combination of both this command you can do a lot of things so suppose if you have a um, path and you want to know the directory and the file name so you can get uh, both using this this uh, base name and dir command let's see the next command so path check so this is used to check whether a file name is valid or uh, printable within a file system or not portable within a file system or not whether a file is valid or not it, it checks the uh, there are many options that it checks okay so basically first thing you check is file name convention if a file is uh, <coughs> following the file name con con file name uh, con convention uh, supported by the file system or not it will also check the length of uh, path length so suppose if you are providing a path so it will also check if the path is following the file system convention or not file system compatibility if the file is compatible with the file system and special file system rules so there are some special file system rules that also it will check so basically if you have a path or a file name uh, this command will check if that file name or path is valid or not so suppose for example i am i am trying to create a uh, <coughs> file name okay so uh, this uh, so for print so i am what i am doing is 4097 characters i am generating a and okay and i am checking i am putting that into this variable so this variable long name will contain all this value a uh, like 4097 times okay so and after that i am checking path check on this variable so this is giving me file name is too long 
So basically, this is checking if the, the length of the file name. So uh, from the current file system uh, supports only file length less than this. So it is giving me the error. So likewise, it will uh, check all these conditions. If you can see file name convention, path length, file system compatibility, special file system rules. So all these checks, it will perform this command path check. Okay, so now the command is mktemp. So this will create a temporary files securely essential to respect uh, system administrator or programming. Okay, so this, this will create a temporary um, uh, temporary file. Okay, so to create a temporary file, you can do mktemp. Yeah. Create temporary directory for new MK temporary directory. So suppose uh, for for better understanding, I'll expla explain you a scenario. So suppose if you are writing some script and you need to create some intermediate files uh, securely, so uh, you can use this command make temp to create uh, the file files temporary files or temporary directories um, according to your requirement. So MK temp so my temp file xxxx so what it will do it will replace with this this xxx with the numbers okay and make temp file it will like prefix this one okay so temp file make temp file command you go temporary file is temp file from our operation with the temp so run up temp and clean up the users so basically instead of uh, instead of um, creating a permanent um, file or a temp like directory you can use this command to create a temporary file or directory securely in your code or in in, in your command okay so next next uh, command is real path so basically resolves the symbolic links extra character and reference to this okay so but this will provide suppose if you are giving a path which contains a symbolic link or mm, the, the, this uh, dollar character sorry um, slash character and reference to this okay so it will convert it to the real path so lns okay so what i am doing I am creating a symbolic link, okay, and giving uh, re trying real path uh, on this symbolic link which I have created just now, okay. You can see temp pass password link, okay. So the real it will give me this, which means this this link is pointing to this real path, okay. So if I am suppose if I am giving real path home user and three times document so it will return remove the uh, strip the three times and uh, give the real path so i see if you can see here i have given two times you know, three times slash okay so it will give me uh, this home user document so it will basically give the correct path of a um, file or directory on the file system okay real path video so see uh, so currently i am in i am in a directory where this this video video is a directory okay so i am applying real path on this so it is giving you home slash video so it is complete path which is uh, on the file system okay so hope you understand the requirement okay because few more examples are there so this will basically give me home slash this so you can see right so basically the real path will be temp password link temp and I this this was created right symbolic link was created here okay so like this hope you understand so, so thank you for watching this we have completed the uh, commands related to file naming conventions and uh, file path handling okay so thanks for watching I hope you like it if you don't like it please do comment let us know what can be improved please do like share comment and subscribe our channel thank you for watching